What's up, Crooks Moto crew? So today, in the Crooks Moto laboratory, which is really just the room I edit the videos in, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your Rogue Glide ST, uh, really just your Boom GTS 6.5 system. All these instructions should be pretty similar. I mean, it's all just a matter of putting the software update on a USB stick and plugging it into your bike. So yeah, I'm gonna take you through the whole entire process, uh, every step involved, just that way if you get stuck or if you need some assistance, I gotcha. So let's get it started, guys. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and download the software for the Boom GTS system. So you're gonna to go to parts and you're gonna click new service OEM parts. Um, you're gonna go ahead here, scroll in, throw your info in, uh, just your bike. And technically you actually don't really have to do that. You can actually just come down and click on the service info. And this is gonna take you to the service info portal. Uh, you're gonna throw your VIN number in the select vehicle section and hit find. You got your bike, uh, Roguelite ST. Now you're gonna click software files on the left. And then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see the Boom GTS software. So you're gonna find the latest one at the top or the latest number. And you're gonna click on that little info button and it's gonna download. So it's taking you to this page. You're gonna wait a second. It's gonna download a zip file. And this is the software that we're gonna be using to update. So we're gonna pop back over to software files and we're gonna go and grab our dealer location, radio location point of interest, like update. So same thing, we're gonna click on it, we're gonna wait for it to load, and now it's downloading. So we're just gonna wait for it to download here. Um, these, there's some additional files here, things, um, device manager, things of that nature, the Cena 50S, um, the HD one. There's a couple different things. Take a browse through it. You might need some additional software, but we're just going to focus on the Boom GTS and the uh, points of interest upgrade. So now let's jump over and we're going to show you once these finished downloading, how to actually use them. All right. So next, now we're going to open up. We have our USB plugged in. We got a USB on the left. We've uh, opened that up in our finder or your Explorer. You're going to want to unzip this. Sometimes you gotta right click, there'll be like an unzip, or if you just double click it, usually it'll open up. So we're opening that up, that is the Boom GTS, and you see there's an ISO file. You're gonna drag and drop that onto the root of the SD card. That just means the base of the file system, not in a folder or anything like that, and you want just the file itself. And yeah, so there it goes, it's transferred. Now we're gonna go ahead and eject this. We're gonna go take it to the bike. Yo guys, so we're in the Crooks Moto Garage. We got the Road Glide here. Road Glide ST 2022. And we got our USB drive. And so now we're going to, uh, we're gonna turn this puppy on. All right, so we're gonna put the USB in now. All right, USB is in. You should get this notification that there's no playable media, which is correct. We're gonna use these to navigate. We're gonna hit okay. And boom. Turn the ignition switch to accessory. Okay, we're in accessory. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit install. Make it happen. Some package installation progress here. So, looks like it's gonna take a couple seconds. You know, it could be a couple minutes. Just make sure you don't turn the bike off. Make sure your battery's good. You know, don't don't start the process and then have it interrupt because you could corrupt some stuff and be in trouble. Um, the biggest benefit is gonna be Android Auto. I have another video that will be coming out with what's called the AutoCast. And that is a little device, it's about yay big and allows you to attach it to the USB in here and wirelessly do Android Auto because 
I have this set up here. I can't put a plug in the bottom of this. This is a wireless charger. It's got the USB for power. So I'm gonna have to hook up another USB connection to the battery and run that up here um, or a little adapter onto the battery tender or something. So we're gonna be able to still plug this in and we're gonna plug the AutoCast in there. And what we should be able to do is have full wireless Android Auto still have charging available. And that'll just make for a really clean solution on the Rogue Glide. So that'll be in the next video, guys. Be sure to check that one out. That'll be really interesting for all you guys who rock uh, Rogue Glides and really anything with a Boom GTS system and some USB um, and Android Auto. So checking in with the progress, we're still at five out of six steps. Looks like it's updating the nav software right now. So one thing we're gonna do after this is Harley has the uh, points of interest software version update as well. We're going to, after this is installed, make sure everything's okay. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to put that on the USB drive, and then we're going to work through how to update your points of interest. Um, there's some other stuff with NaviExtras.com. You guys should definitely check out for all your offline maps. I'm told that they're purchased maps. You have to buy them, um, and NaviExtra has like some extra uh, utilities that allow you to kind of update the map database like do some cool stuff. So maybe check out for a video for that uh, on the channel. This video is just solely upgrading the software on your Rogue Glide or your Boom GTS system and then getting Android Auto. So we're gonna plug that in um, as well just to see if we got Android Auto and make sure it works. So yeah, it looks like we're almost done. A little shout out to Mustang seats. I love this seat. I waited a couple months for it. It's pretty much the seat I kind of get for all my uh, my kind of touring bikes. I just love this backrest, it's super adjustable. And the Mustangs just have, they just have really good cushion, man. And I love this one with the, the double red. I, I believe they call it the American Beauty Red or the American Red stitching. All right, so we just got a screen that says it's restarting. Update's done. Leave it in accessory, don't change anything. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, so remember guys that all your settings are gonna be reset. So anything that you customized beforehand, you're gonna have to go in and reset. So just know that when you're updating the software. All right, so because we haven't taken it out, still gonna say that. No, we don't wanna reinstall. Boom, so we got that. So now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the USB drive. Cool, got the USB drive out. So now I'm gonna go grab my USB cord and my phone and we're gonna plug it up and see if Android Auto's on it. All right guys, so we got our phone, got the USB cable. We're going to uh, plug everything up now. So get the phone plugged in. I'm gonna pop it up here for now. So far, I'm not seeing anything change just yet. One thing that you're gonna need to make sure is that your Android Auto is installed. So be sure you have that installed as well. Um, okay, so one thing that I've been told is that sometimes, depending on your cable, it could uh, it could not be the right cable. We're going to see if maybe swapping the cable. Maybe that does it. This cable seems to be working right now. So we got Android Auto, it popped up here to check your device. So we have to unlock our screen, which we did. Um, yep, would like to pair Bluetooth. It would like access to your car. Okay, and there we go. And there we go, we got Android Auto. And first things first, able to use our little toggle switches. That's the, the biggest benefit. And sweet, looks like I got a bunch of my apps on here. You guys should definitely check out Android Auto if you don't know much about it. It's pretty handy. Biggest benefit, you know, is just being able to go into your Spotify, being able to play your tunes, going in and selecting different, you know, albums you're listening to and all sorts of stuff. But it looks like at this point, guys, Android Auto's working. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys appreciate the content, if you like what we're doing here, you know your role. Be sure to hit the like, the comment, the subscribe. You guys do subscribe, be sure to hit the notification bell, get, get the updates. We appreciate your support. Be sure to hit crooksmoto.com if you wanna pick up some merch. We've got some pretty sick little beanies going on and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and update the points of interest now. So we've already got the, uh, the Boom GTS software. We're gonna delete that from the USB drive. We're gonna go ahead and extract the points of interest maps update. So same thing, double click it. And now you notice that there's a folder and a file. So we're gonna copy both of those again onto your thumb drive. And again, you want these to just be at the root. You don't want uh, to have any folder. You don't want the folder of the GTS name or anything like that. Just want the files exactly how they display there. And again, we're gonna go ahead and eject this. We're gonna go take it to the bike. 
All right, guys, so we got the USB drive. Now we're going to update the points of interest. So same thing as before, we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy in the USB drive or in the USB slot. First, we're gonna turn it all the way on to accessory. We're gonna plug the USB drive in. Similar stuff, no playable media. Okay, great. So it just, it auto detects that there's an update. Now we've already updated the normal software. So now this is the point of interest. So this is dealer locations and all that. We're gonna go ahead and hit install now. And similar to before, make sure you don't mess with your, your bike while this update is installing. Don't wanna let it crash out or corrupt or you know anything like that. So similar as before, it's gonna go blank. You're gonna hold your breath because at first you're gonna think your bike is ruined and then look, it's gonna pop up. So now it's going through the software update process. So similar as before, just just wait. Looks like there's only two packages this time. So not a whole lot to update, shouldn't take very long. But the benefit to this guy is right, now we're gonna have Android Auto, which is great. And then number two is now we have an updated you know, operating system and updated maps and points of interest and things like that. So it's finishing up the map data. When that's done, similar as before, it's just, it's updated, it's ready to rock. And yeah, so it looks like the radio will uh, restart. Same thing, don't touch it, leave it alone, let it do its whole thing until it's all the way back at the home screen and give it a couple seconds just to be sure. Turn that down before copyright. Back to the home screen. It's reset. Looks good to me. So obviously now uh, in your maps, the point of interest have been updated and we got our Boom GTS system up. So guys, we're ready to rock. Thanks for choosing Crooks Moto as your YouTube channel for today. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for your time today. Appreciate you coming on the channel and watching the Boom GTS update video. If this pops up again, remember you can hit no and just pull the USB drive out because you're done. Appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Rock and roll.